vintage car racing, boys and girls. So let's go way back in our memory banks here, boys and girls. Some of us who have a little bit of hair up, up on our heads or maybe grayish hair on our heads might get more familiar here with some of the cars that are coming out here in a little short bit here. Okay, let's talk about the lineup here because you're the only one that knows what's going on up here up in the race towers. Tell us who's going to be starting this race. Yeah, so um, we got actually three different classes for the vintage cars tonight. We got the full bodies that will be coming out here shortly. Then we got the super mods. And then we got something called the IMCA Old Timer. So, again, first one is going to be the full bodies. Uh, we got one heat race for them. It looks like we got ten cars scheduled to go for that one. And I got the lineup right here for that. Starting on the pole tonight for that full body heat race number one, it's car number 15. That is Mac McLean Dolphy from Mount View, Minnesota. And onto his outside in the second spot, starting second tonight. And car number seven, that's from Farmington, Minnesota, that's Patrick McCarthy. And on to the inside of row number two, third position for Rice Lake, Wisconsin, car number 10B of John Wichbergs. And on to his outside in the fourth spot, car number 39 from Prior Lake, Minnesota, that is Carter Naverson. Inside row three, fifth position from Suburban, Minnesota, car number 28 of Alan Kesky. And on to his outside in the sixth position for Mount View, Minnesota, car number one, that is Paul Dolphy. Inside row number four in the seventh spot, car number six from Triple Falls, Wisconsin, that is Greg Mannon. And on to his outside, car number 20 from Bacchus, Minnesota, car number 20, that is Tom Godfrey. Inside of row number five in the ninth spot from Northfield, Minnesota. Car number 30, that is the yellow 65 Impala. That is Michael Brindridge. And on to his outside in the 10th spot from Hugo, Minnesota. Car number 34, uh, Lee Lovgren. So we got 10 cars scheduled for this full body heat race. It's the one and only full body heat race tonight at Cedar Lake. And it looks like the number 15 of Mac McLean Dolphy might have not made the cut here, so we're going to go nine cars on the speedway, it looks like. So we got a full body heat race right now, super mod heat race next, and then we got our IMCA old timers set for their heat race as well. You know, Brad, this was such a cool class. Back when I was a kid growing up here at Cedar Lake Speedway, I came out to the Cedar Lake Speedway weekend and week out. Of, this was one of my favorite classes to see year in and year out. Well, it's always fun to see these guys that are still, you know, taking care of these cars year after year, sitting in the back of the garage, whatever else, just doting on them until they can bring them out and, again and race them on the dirt here. And it looks like we're at green flag racing right away, Kale. Green flag for this heat race. The full body cars are on the speedway. Leading down the back stretch, starting or scheduled uh, on the inside of row two, that third spot from Rice Lake, Wisconsin. That's the 10B of John Wishburgs. He leads through corners three and four. Lap number one will go to the 10B of John. Side by side for that second spot. On to his outside now, car number six. That is Greg Manning from Triple Falls, Wisconsin. Down the back straightaway now, leading it at Cedar Lake. That's an old Nova that's basically leading up the, the racetrack here. He's going to come right down the front stretch here with that Nova. Sponsored by Ham Beer. Well, that's the last time I probably had a Ham Beer by the time I saw rode that Nova. So. Pretty cool stuff. Nearly three wide for that. Third spot's on the back straightaway, Brad. Uh, digging that uh, 07, that green car, too, that's right now currently in fourth. Got a little smoke coming from that. That's an old Grand Prix back in the day from 1969. The man who did the invocation this evening, side by side with your race leader, Alan Kesky, now has it down at the midpoint of the back straightaway. The man from Suburban, Minnesota, takes over the top spot in heat race number one. A little slide action as he comes out of four. I don't know, he's got enough tire there to grip, and he does. So let's see what he does here at one. If he gets a little bit too much horsepower, that front end, that left front end, coming off the racetrack as he tries to. He's got a lot of horsepower in that number 28. He surely does. Nearly lost the handle there as he's trying to hold on over the number six of Greg Mandon as we are over the halfway point. We got, I believe, three laps left to go. Wow, that thing is moving along quite a bit here at Cedar Lake Speedway. He works the bottom of turns three and four as we come down. I believe this time by we're going to see two laps to go in this one. Well, the Nova's not going to give up yet as he tries to get on the outside of that uh, number 28. As they come up on lap traffic on the old Impala, the, the old Caprice basically on the backstretch there. 
34 given a bump of solid spot there as we come to the white flag, Kale. Yeah, that's the 34 of Lee Lovegren. He goes a lap down to the top two cars, and it's a good battle for the top spot. It'll be a lot of fun to see who takes it here as we go down the back stretch for the final time. 28 of Ellen Kesky works the bottom side of the speedway. He led the invocation tonight, and he will take over heat race number one. The one and only heat race for the full bodies. Here's the kick in the pants, so Kale, that guy that wins the heat race, now he's got to go to the tail end of his feature. So it'll be kind of fun to watch that when he comes through the field, basically, for the feature at the end of the night. It definitely will be. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, like Brad was saying, uh, the guy that wins the heat race tonight will go in the back of the field and will have to try to make his way from the back because he has to show how fast that car is. Look how cool that is. Uh, car number 28 of Alec Kesky from Zimmerman, Minnesota. That is pretty cool.